that affected her the most, I think, of everybody in my life. It affected her greatly. Um, and then it's affected me greatly to be around her 24-7. It really has. It's, it's um, hard because <laughs> she's not the easiest person to get along with. And, um, you know, I try to really, like I said, surround myself with positive people. And not that my mom's not positive. I don't want this to be something that says something bad about my mom. But, you know, it takes a toll on you when your mom is around you all the time when you're 25 years old. And you need your mom. You're basically like a baby again. You need your, your mom to wipe your butt. You need your mom to do your hair. You need your mom to do your makeup. You need your mom to get you dressed. You need your mom to do everything. And it's, it's made me feel um, a little bit less than. So her role is back to me being three years old again. I'm very grateful, you know, when something like that happens to your child, it's like every second of the day is precious. And so I think that's a huge sacrifice that she has made for me. get up at 5.30, have a little breakfast, get ready for my hyperbaric chamber, which I do every morning from 6.30 to 8.30. It's basically um, a pressurized oxygen chamber um, that increases my oxygen levels in my body, which in another way, it uh, creates skin cells, and I have a little wound on my knee. So I, I go there to help my knee heal, the wound care center at retreat. Um, I go into the hyperbaric chamber. First thing is I'm not allowed to wear hairspray, hair gel, makeup. I'm not allowed to wear any jewelry. I'm not allowed to wear even my band-aid over my trach. You kind of go in. They give you a gown. It's a 100% cotton gown. You take um, your clothes off. It's just front uh, uh, opening to the back. And you lay down on the pad, which is sort of like a gurney. And they push you in. Then they close. They give you... Um, a mask that you put over your face because you get 10 minutes of regular air, they call it. They check um, the diameter and the all the stuff with my knee, like the wound of my knee. They make sure that it's on the recovery end rather than the other end. Yes, she got a, um, she's been looking for another step up in the position. She's been in And then you're in there for two hours. Then they call my mom, they pull me out. Then I put, get in the wheelchair, wheeled back, put my prosthetics on, and roll out. I have not accepted the fact that I do not have my hand. Sometimes I still wake up in the middle of the night and want to reach over to use the phone or to change the channel, which I can change the channel and use the phone without my prosthetics, but I mean reach over to extend and in the middle of the night and to like drink something and knowing that. And I realize in the middle of the night and waking up, I don't have my hand to pick it up or, you know, zip up my zipper, you know, try to button up my own pants, which I still cannot do. 
you know, stuff like that, you know, comb my hair, put my hair in a ponytail, which I can't do. Sometimes I like put a little mo like mousse and um, okay. gel in it and like do a little weight, kind of like hers, but not as curly. Right. My yeah, she's got one of those curly. Right. The set. Do you want to like? Do you want to keep the length? I are want, you willing yeah. to lose some of it? Or no, no, you want to keep it. Because I used to have long blonde hair, and I want to grow it back. <laughs> now you want long blonde hair again? Yeah, it will work because I have longer hair. It's not the fact of my hair; it's the fact that I can't reach with my prosthetics behind my head and do anything because they don't function behind my head. I have two types of prosthetics for my arms. I have body powered, which they're, which I like to call them um, prehistoric arms, which uh, deal with my shoulder muscles and my lateral muscles. So it's basically when I push forward, they open, and when I'm when I'm like resting, they just sort of close. And I have their their hook form which I just don't like walking around with a hook as an arm. Putting this one just did that. 